There are a number of elements contributing to keeping the bar as close to the body as possible during a snatch, but let's focus on one of the simplest but most overlooked. The initial motion of the pull under the bar is a shrug up and back and a pull of the elbows up and out. Among other things, this helps preserve the bar's proximity after it's contacted the hips. However, if we leave the elbows in the same position as we turn the bar over, we lose that proximity. The elbows become a fixed pivot point for the bar to rotate around, meaning it's forced to move forward. In order to keep the bar as close as possible, we need to squeeze the shoulders back to pull the bar in toward us as we turn it over. This squeeze back begins with the initial shrug up and back and pull of the elbows up and out and needs to be increased as we turn the bar over. Practice this motion with slow and then full speed tall muscle snatches to get the feel for it and then be sure to implement it on all snatches and snatch variations. Note that even in a well executed snatch, the bar won't remain as close as it does in this drill. However, the effort to keep it this close will keep it as close as it needs to be. Greg Evan with Catalyst Athletics here. Please like and share this video. If you appreciate the content, please subscribe to the channel. The more feedback I get from you guys, the more support I get from you guys, the more free content I can keep making. Thank you.